Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In this video, I'm going to explain you one of the important method in machine learning that helps you to improve the accuracy of machine learning model. So the concept you are going to see in this video is called hyperparameter tuning. Before starting this video, if you are a beginner in machine learning, then you don't understand this concept. If you want to understand this concept, then please watch my data science videos playlist and learn about how to build the machine learning model from scratch. Once you've covered up those concepts, then you can easily get to know about what I'm going to speak in this video. Okay, so before you enter into this video, you should definitely know about what is parameters in machine learning model development. Because the hyperparameter tuning concept is entirely related to parameters in machine learning. And also in this video, we entirely focus on how to improve the model accuracy using parameter tuning. So I will show you how hyperparameter tuning is improving the model accuracy with some practical examples. Okay, for explaining this important concept, I took one dataset called Wine Quality. I will provide the link for this dataset in the description so you can download this dataset from there. Okay, actually, in machine learning, if you are trying to improve the accuracy of ML model, then there are a lot of techniques are there. Hyperparameter tuning is one of the techniques that will help you to improve the model accuracy. And if you want to know about the rest of the techniques, then I already made a video about it. So watch that video to know about how to improve the model accuracy with different available machine learning methods. Okay. So before learning hyperparameter tuning concept, so give a like to support your creator. Your likes are very important for a creator like me and it is free to do. So like this video right now to show your support. Okay. In the first cell of the Jupyter notebook, I imported some necessary libraries for my model development. And in this experiment, I'm going to develop support vector machine model. And I will show you the model accuracy differences before and after implementing the parameter tuning. Okay. And for evaluating my machine learning model, I'm going to use classification report matrix to know the accuracy differences at the end. So these are the requirements that are needed for my model development and hyperparameter tuning. So let's start the data preparation part. And if you want to skip the data preparation part, you can skip by using timestamps. I will provide the timestamps for this video in description. Okay. So now look at the data set. This data set is not prepared. So we have to do some changes before we implementing the SVC algorithm on this data set. So what are the preparations we have to do? So take a look at this data set carefully. In this data set, there are 11 features are there and quality column represents our target. So in the target column, we have, we have different types of wine quality numbers are there. And initially we don't know which quality of wine is good. So these are just numbers. Okay. So these are just numbers that doesn't denote anything to us. So in the first step of data preparation, we are going to transform these six values into two labels. So why we are going to form the two labels means I told we are going to use SVC for this data set. SVC is a classification algorithm. So our data set target should be in binary labels. For transforming the data, I'm going to use cut function from pandas. So this is the first time I'm using the cut function from pandas. So basically it will transform the numerical values into labels. Before running this cell, I declared one variable called bins. So in this min variable, I set some data intervals from two to eight. If the numbers are in the range, it will transform those numbers into the good and bad labels. Okay. So this is the concept about the cut function. Let's move to the next step. Now we get the labels like good or bad wine quality. Let's convert those two labels into binary values. For converting the binary labels into binary numbers, here I'm using label encoder function from scikit-learn to convert the labels into binary form. After transforming the labels, let's check how many bad and good values are classified in the data set. So you can see here there are 1382 values are classified as 0 and 217 values are classified as 1. Here 0 represents the bad wine quality and 1 represents the good wine quality. Next I'm going to allocate feature. So in this cell I'm dropping the quality feature from the main data set. In the X variable it contains 11 features except the quality feature because quality feature is our target. So I'm allocating a Y variable for the quality feature. Okay. So now our data set is ready. Let's move to the next step. In the next step, I'm splitting the data set into train and test. After splitting it, I'm going to scaling my values in the data set. So why I'm scaling means to achieve the faster processing and optimize the results of my model. So it is one of the good practice in machine learning. You should use the standard scalar function or min max scalar function to transform your data set values. It helps you to produce more optimization and stabilization to your model. Okay. After that, I'm training and testing my model with the SVC algorithm. So once I get the test values, I'm going to generate a classification report against my model performances. So let's run this cell. 
So look at the classification report carefully. Here I got the accuracy of 88%. It is not that much bad. But this model trained with the default parameters of SVC. We don't get the best parameters for this dataset. So for finding the best parameters, I'm going to use grid search CV. If you are implementing parameter concept in your machine learning model, there are two popular methods are there in machine learning. One is grid search CV and another one is randomized search CV. The difference between these two is if you are implementing the grid search CV, we have to give some expected parameter range values. The grid search CV only implement that expected parameter values that you given. But the randomized search CV don't expect any values from you. It will automatically apply the parameters on its own and it will give you the best parameters after processing the random values. OK, so this is how the both techniques are working. Now look at my code. Here I declared one variable called params and in this variable I put all of my expected parameter values for SVC. Now I am going to train these values on my model. So the grid set CV started my searching process. So it will take some time to process all the values in our model and it will give the best parameter values among all the expected parameter values that I gave. So now it's completed its searching process. For finding the best parameter I am going to use one function from grid search that is called as best params. So you can use this function to print the best parameters from the grid set CV. So you see here it is showing the parameter values. Now I'm going to use this parameter on my SVC algorithm. So let's check how much accuracy I got from this best parameters. So look at the classification report of SVC with the tuned parameters. The last time I ran with the default parameters, I got 88% accuracy. And then I fine tuned with the parameters, I got 90% accuracy. So this is how you have to improve the parameters in your machine learning model. So that's all about this video. I hope you understand the concept of hyperparameter tuning. I'm ready to solve your doubts. If you have any doubts, leave it here in the comment section. See you on next week. <music>